<sighs> Dang. I don't even know what to say. What's up, people? How y'all doing? Damn, that don't even sound like me. <laughs> <laughs> chill, chill. Yo, yo, yo. What's good with y'all? Welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode number 35. KD, you know what I'm saying? Even though he asked right now. KDK. Uh, chill. But welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, DW, aka Darius. And I'm back again with another one of my hosts, another one of the members. You want to introduce yourself? You're. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't been on in a while. I'm nervous. Aw. I can hear it. Oh, I'm a little nervous. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to do the intro? Mm-mm. Come on, just do it one time. No. Say what's up to the viewer. I said what's up. I said you're... All right. Guys, sorry, my voice, you know, it's going to crack here and there. Yeah, Jay had a, her last softball game yesterday of the season. She was, uh, you know, they was ch- do the little softball chants. But, oh, before I go into the stuff, I got to hype. I got to hype my girl up, you know what I'm saying? Here we go. We got. I got to. I got to. You know, her season's over. Look, we we play college sports, Division Two. She was D one though, but we go to she, <laughs> you know she she want to come back home. When I tell y'all, nah, this girl, she came into the season didn't work out of nothing. <laughs> right, you do gotta tell them. Nah, I'm gotta everybody gotta know. <laughs> she didn't go in. She went to the batting cage one time in the last <laughs> year. She come into the season, lead the team in hits. Come on, like it's, it's just it's just what we do out here, bro. It's just what we do. It's easy. Is that easy? No, it's we're, not. We got we're not gonna jinx it, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but congratulations to Jay. You know what I'm saying. Thank we you, thank you. Might be all conference this year. I'm 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 calling no. it. If not, I'm sending that. I, just, we'll see. No, I think so. We didn't make the playoffs. So there's all them people, all them goddamn positions. You we got it. We got it. <laughs> And um oh, by the way, people, I finished my last under undergraduate classes. Yes, sir. About to go into the real world. Yeah, I didn't graduate yet, people. Finals is coming up, but mm-hmm. we're almost there, almost graduating college. So if things start to look a little slow, I start missing videos. I probably won't, but yeah. <laughs> he's ah. gonna be freaking out behind the scenes though. Yeah, I'll be all right. But my mental will be challenged, but you know, it's just it happens, it happens. It happens to the best of us. Everybody Goes through that little, uh, what's that called? Mental breakdown. Not me. I'll be cheating my way through life. Yeah, don't worry. You're going to have, it's coming. You're going to have a mental breakdown at work. You're going to be like, I'm just going to be looking at you. It's like, it's okay. <laughs> just pat you on your back. But if you haven't already, follow us on TikTok at No Regulars Podcast. We're already at 135,000 followers on TikTok. Follow us on Instagram at No Regulars Podcast. We're almost at 400 followers. Follow us on all the podcasting platforms at No Regulars Podcast on Apple Music. Google Podcasts. I said Apple Music. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Discord coming soon for y'all if y'all want to watch a stream because UJ is the only one that does and he don't do it for real. I'm trying to get Fritz to stream. If y'all want to play games with it, if y'all want to come talk, it's just like a little community. You know what I'm saying? So they come and talk. If you guys want to come debate about us because I know y'all been killing me for the last two weeks. I'm sorry. <laughs> Batman is... I like Batman. I've been watching DC. That's why. He's like... Marvel, <coughs> he switched up. I didn't say I don't like Marvel no more. Yeah, but you used to like Marvel more than DC. I know because and then I, you switched up. You know why I switched up? Because now I watch both and I realize no. If you but you don't want to watch it. Mm-mm. I don't even watch Marvel like that. I know, but you can still watch Batman. I'm telling you, you like Batman the movie. It's more realistic than the Marvel movies. It's too long. It is, but eh, once you get past that, you'll be alright. I like Venom. I know it's the only character I like. <laughs> She likes Venom because the Venom movie was funny. The second one, only the real one. No, though. it wasn't the Venom movie. It was the Venom. That's the only reason why you watched Venom. Oh, it was Venom. Yeah. Oh. The one when he went to the, the nightclub and he he was like he was like his little monster. Oh so, yeah yeah yeah. And he was just like dancing. But I around. think that he was in Spider Man. I'm tripping. He was at the end of Spider Man. Yeah yeah yeah. But I yeah remember. yeah. But oh yeah uh so yeah Discord coming <clears throat> soon merchandise coming soon sorry people we're. Uh, probably the the website gonna be up in probably like a couple weeks, and then we're gonna have to design all that good stuff. We're gonna get y'all fly for the summertime. You know what I'm saying? Yes, when y'all want to go to the beach and all that stuff, y'all want to impress the girls, your crushes. I know all y'all <laughs> little kids. <laughs> Don't worry, you guys gonna get y'all no regular merch coming soon. And follow. Oh, subscribe down below on YouTube if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, welcome and like the video, comment all that good stuff. Send it to a friend. I think we're at one point f- four. 
on YouTube? Yeah, 1,420. Hey. So we up, we up, you know, a little, a little, About little. to be 2,000 yeah. in like the next two months. We'll see, we'll see. I called it. Oh, you calling it? That's what I'm talking about. I might have to dab you in my left hand. Come on, let's do it again. Let's do it again for the people. Ew. That's weird. Yeah. But was that the end of the intro? Yeah, I think it is. So we got a good show for y'all today, but we're going to start off with the would you rather question like we usually do. No, actually, no, I want to talk. I didn't write this on the thing, but I want to talk about it. What? Uh, let's talk about, you know, um, you know who, what's that girl name? It's Machine Gun Kelly and his wife, his fiance that they just married, Megan Fox. Mm-hmm. You know what they be doing? What? They be drinking each other's blood. That's a lie. Ain't no way. I don't know. She seemed crazy. I ain't gonna lie. They both seem like weirdos, but... Some, they said they be... They, like, she gave her... He gave her an engagement ring where, like, it has thorns on it. So, like, she can't take it off or it hurts, like, really badly. I need to see that. Like, it was all over. And she had an interview. They was like, oh, you guys said y'all was drinking each other's blood. And she was like, well, we just be, like, just a couple drops here and there. But it's just for a ritual. No, I said a ritual. Hell? A ritual of what? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of creepy. Like, she she, she she was like, she was like, yeah, I think I manifested him when I was four years old. Because I'm four years older than him. And, like, it's just, it, he's everything. I, I'm like, y'all weird. Four years old is crazy. Like, you don't even know what you're doing that for. That's what I'm saying. She said like she made up like he's the perfect boy, and he's he look crazy. I ain't gonna lie. It was ugh, I don't know. You want? I ain't drinking your blood, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's tough. <laughs> hey man. Nah, that's some crazy stuff. Ain't no way. I don't know what ritual. Like they be they be like bathing in blood and stuff like that. I don't know if that's their blood or like pig's blood, but I'm like. I don't know, bro. That sounds nasty. Like, that's how that's how sickness starts. That yeah, shit. for real, by blood touching. Blood touching. <laughs> <laughs> but let's start with the would you rather question now. So would you rather be put in the, in the Hunger Games? You ever watch Maze Runner? Yeah. Would you rather be, okay, so would you rather be put in the Hunger Games or the Maze Runner? The, Maze, the Hunger Games seems better, but the Maze Runner seems safer. That wasn't safe. Not safe, but if you get lost, you dead. You getting hunted by people. And what the Hunger Games? Yeah, I but know. That but that seems fun. What? Getting hunted seems fun. Yeah, it's like going around shooting people. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what if I? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on? Let me think. What would you do? Uh, I I feel like if I'm in the Hunger Games, I will die, like off the rip. Because I wouldn't want to be the one like going for the smoke, like I feel like I would be the ones hiding. But then the the devs, like the teams that's like running everything, they are gonna see my dumbass hiding. And be like that shit too easy for cuz. Let me go. <laughs> let me go. Uh, throw in some rabbit dogs or 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 killer bees at them, and then I'm gonna die like that. Either that or I'm gonna get somebody go kill my dumb so. Oh, like the people running it. Yeah, like you know, remember yeah. there was one time there was somebody. Uh, uh, she was like, there's like this one one uh. One group of people that that was good at hiding, like you know, it's like the classes. Mm-hmm. So like one sector, I think it was like sector four. They was like good at hiding and painting. So like they camouflaged themselves, and like he came out and got <laughs> killed. They <laughs> killed his dumb mm-hmm. right, like, What about the Maze Runner? The Maze Runner, first of all, it's it's a it's you're just stuck in a thing with a group of boys. Keep that in mind, and then you gotta you gotta. I feel like I'll do that more because like I don't have to be in the maze running. Yeah. Because if I get in the maze, I'm gonna get lost. Cause they they, they gotta try to find a way. I don't think I'll find my way out. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be in there for for life. No, for real. That used to be scary. I think I do longer games. Cause oh it's like, if I'm in the maze runner and I'm in there for life, like it, the Hunger Games is just like, if I get killed, I get killed. I'm done. Yeah. But I could be killing people. So you, I have a chance to survive. What is, what is your tactic in the Hunger Games? Like, what are you gonna be doing? <sighs> I think I'm gonna be the one just going for people. Oh, you gonna be murking people? I think so. Oh my god! Like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be hiding in trees and jumping down, just. Pur, pur, pur. Wow. Oh, they gonna love you. You gonna get the I'm good sponsors. Going crazy, yes, sir. You gonna get the good sponsors. They ain't gonna, they gonna hate me. <laughs> they gonna be like this man boring. <laughs> they gonna, mm-hmm. they gonna kill me off. Oh, hell no. Nah, I'm doing Maze Runner. I I'm feel setting like traps, all that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going off. You not? Are you gonna make alliances? Like with people, 
Nah, I don't know. I can't trust nobody. Mm. Mm-mm. Real shit, real well, shit. Well, didn't you have like that person you came with? Like, yeah, you got two, two people. You got two people. You got to deal with yeah. you. So me and them good. So if it's me and you. We good. You better not be no punk, though. Oh, God. We not hiding. <laughs> we we, we got to be on the same spot. We, no, we setting people up. But you know the terrain be, tra- be changing. You're right, but we got this. <sighs> <clears throat> Man. People, I'm sorry if I'm coughing a lot because, I mean, I had a little cold for the last week. He got COVID. He had the thing for like two weeks already. High key. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I wanted to talk about that because remember that movie we watched the other day with the... Uh, the poor with the rich people stealing like kidnapping people and, mm-hmm. and hunting down for sport yeah. i heard supposedly mike from mike tyson that rich people actually do that suppose like, no like they probably do like you know like the squid games mm-hmm. some stuff like that like they kidnap like like poor people maybe not like like us because like we kind of broke <laughs> like probably like the homeless people because like they don't really they don't got no ids that's f- Dope. They don't got no, they don't got no names, <laughs> they don't got no family members. So it's like if they gone, nobody gonna really notice. And I could see that happening. Like they could I just do. put them in the in the forest and just let them run around. They just hunt them down like animals. That's like the Hunger Games for real. That's like the Hunger Games. That's like Squid Games. But you, do you think they're that um, talented like they were in the movie? Because the mean? movie they was throwing bow and arrows from far. Nah. Oh wait, the people. homeless people. Oh, the the rich the people. Rich people. You think they train for it? Yeah, I think so. I think that like they be practicing on the low. Like there's no. there's some cult, little cult. Because think about it, what do you think that some of these movies are based off of people? Like some of these movies might be freaking. They could be real. They based off of real life. There's no way somebody just imagined it and like, oh yeah, let me put that into a movie. Yeah, they be trying to say like, oh, it's imagination. They get creativity. Nobody that creative. No, that's sick. I'm not gonna lie, but like, just think about it. It's like, it's Mike Tyson. Okay, Mike Tyson. He kind of crazy. He a little nuts. Mm-hmm. But he been around a long time. He's he's very rich, so he's been around the rich people. So, uh-oh, y'all know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> that happens every time. I know. But you never know. It can, There's no possibility of it saying no. Because if we talk about it, they're going to just keep denying it. But So you think like rich people like famous people or just like rich that have money and not known? Probably just rich. Maybe a couple famous people. I think famous people will do it. A couple of famous like racist people. <laughs> like you know how many people get kidnapped on the on a in the United States? A lot. Like per year, like it's like a million people. You know how many of those people are kids? How many? I think it's like 60-75% of them are kids. What the hell? Yeah. That could have been me. That's what I'm saying cuz that isn't that your biz- biggest fear? Getting kidnapped? Yeah. You be cuz you be watching all them thriller movies that be scaring your dumb ass. <laughs> but it's like I feel like I would know what to do if I get kidnapped. What you, what you gonna do? Like, if they put me in a trunk, I watched that movie. I forgot what it was called. But she popped the light out of the trunk and she was waving her hand out of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember. That I'll do that. I already know what to do. I watched so many kidnapping movies. I'm good. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, if y'all hearing this, don't kidnap her, bro. She, it's gonna be the worst experience of your life. She's gonna is. be peeing herself, I'm screaming. Be peeing, pooping. I'm gonna be spitting on them. It's going to be bad. I'm mean, picking my nose. But that also goes into what also else I want to talk about. Because I got a story about a kid, right? His name was Steven, uh, Steven Stainer, right? So I think it was like in the 1960s or whatever. He was he was eight walking home from school. And he got kidnapped by a dude, like old, uh, a middle-aged elderly man. And like the guy was like, oh, yeah, I'm I'm picking you up from your for your parents and stuff like that. And then the boy is eight, so he's like, all right. So he walks in, he stays in the house. He's like, okay, so your parents are just going to leave you here for a little bit, and you're going to be with me. So for he got kidnapped for seven years, and he was brainwashed for seven years. Like, the guy, um, he gave him a new name. He named him Dennis, and he enrolled him into school. Like, so he was just like, he acted like that was, like, he was his father. And, like, he wouldn't let him get close to any kids in school, like, have like kids over the house and like if that happens like if parents start like talking to him they'll just up and leave right but then so like over the years like he started getting older so he started like getting sad because like he wants to go home now but the guy keeps saying like nah you're not going home nothing like that you like like you stay with me forever he didn't stuff. realize that he changed his name no like he was just eight like he was just like he just thought like, brainwashing is a real thing like that's yeah, scary but my parents taught me better than that that's what I'm saying. some people not not here with it but it gets crazy so 
he used to try to convince him to help him kidnap more kids, but he used to be like, nah, I'm not doing that. Until one day, they kidnapped a kid, a little kid, and he was like, oh, here, you got, we got your little brother. And then that day, he was like, nah, I don't want this kid to experience what I went through. So uh, they up, they they left, like they they ran away when he was at work. And like his whole story was on the news. Like on the news, they made TV shows about it. Like they made like a, I think they wrote a book about it. Hell of stuff. Like he was famous after that for, about his story. And get this, that's not even the craziest <laughs> part. You know what? So after that, right? So he got he gets married, has a family and stuff like that. But in his small little town, a lot of girls were going missing. Like three, like three girls went missing and they found their bodies dead in the woods. And then another girl went missing. And you know who the killer was? His older brother was jealous of him for getting all that fame. So he kidnapped and sexually like raped all them women. And like he told the police, he was like, I'll tell you everything I did, but I want I want a producer. I want the best writers in the industry. And I want you to make a movie about my no. about me instead of my brother. That's some crazy stuff. I was like, Hell no. What? He did all of that. Just so he could be, he like, could be famous. Yes, famous and in jail. Cause think about it, he, he his little brother was missing, and when he come back, his brother's like famous now. Yeah, he's but like, his brother's not famous for a good reason. That's what but I'm saying. That's sick. He was just like he probably was just so used to being like an only child and stuff like that, and like his brother not being there no more. And like when he comes back, he's like, damn, they forgot about me, type shit. But like he a grown ass man, right? Like, like you, you weird you, as hell. <laughs> you weird as hell. You wanna, grown as hell. And he did all that. He said, he told the cops, like, I'll tell you every single detail to the detail, but I want a producer sitting right here writing everything down to write a movie, a blockbuster movie about me. And did they do it? I don't think so. High key. Oh, maybe. You never know. Some of these murder movies might have been about him. I mean, if they had a (coughs) proof that he was a killer, they didn't have to do anything. I know. That's what I'm saying. Because he confessed to it already. Yeah, exactly. So So, I don't know, man. They better not have. I'm just saying. Well, I mean, you know about it, so they probably did. Never know. Like, it's mm. scary, bro. Like, people really just get kidnapped. Somebody probably kidnapped right now. Somebody getting kidnapped right yeah, now. Yeah, somebody getting kidnapped right now. Somebody trapped in the crib right now. Somebody's somebody trapped. died right now. It's crazy. Somebody giving birth right now. There's a lot of things going on in this world. I know, right? I don't want to keep going on about that <laughs> subject. <laughs> mm. all. But I got, I got another would you rather question. Would you rather have to survive a tornado or a tsunami? Tornado. Mm. For sure. A tornado? Tornado for sure. I feel like I can survive a tsunami. Hell no. Tell me if a tsunami going down the Jersey Shore right now, I'm at the Jersey Shore, it's coming in like 20 minutes, I'll get out of there. No, you won't. I can get out of there. No, hell no. A tsunami is like impossible to survive because once that wave gets you, there's a whole bunch of things under that water. I know. Just hitting you. But like a tornado though, like you, you could drive away from a tornado. A tornado, like you could, like you could still survive if you're in your house. What the hell? Yeah. I don't know. I ain't people, going. To, people, oh, like in the basement. I don't know. It's like a protocol. Yeah. I remember I was gonna get um, I was in Delaware somewhere for my brother's um tournament games. Yeah. And there was a tornado warning, and I was scared as hell. <laughs> I was uh, afraid of tornadoes. I was afraid of everything when I was little, and I was about to cry. And I just know there was a tornado warning, and I don't know the, what they were telling us to do, but I was like, mm-mm. That's I great. think they were like, hide in the closet and like put a mattress in front of you. It was something like that. I thought you just go into the basement. Because like, you know, some people, I think most houses in the Midwest have like storm bunkers. Like Kansas. Oh, because they have a lot of tornadoes. Yeah, so like they have those built into their houses. So they just go in there. I mean, that's smart, but if you don't have that, then mm, what that's if just- you don't have a basement? Oh, it's deep for you. You might as well just run away. I mean, you just have to protect yourself. Like, I don't think a tornado... Some tornadoes could probably, like, knock down a house, of course. But some tornadoes just, like, knock out windows. Yeah. So, like, you just need to have protection around you so you won't get hit with glass or hit with something coming in the window. I mean, I've seen I've seen a tornado shred, like, a bunch of houses. I mean, yeah, that's... It's the, it depends the type of tornado. Because yeah. there's different winds. Like... Different forces. Different winds. Remember, like, but the tsunami, though? Nah, that's scary. I ain't gonna lie. Remember that tsunami movie we watched? Yeah. How they survived that? Was that a true story? There's no way that's no, a true story. I think it was, actually. My dumb. But no. Damn. I would have been dead. I'm not running. You just go watch that wave just hit you? You think you die on impact? Nah. 
I think you, because it's like a wave. I feel like it's just like a wave, but it's the things that hit you while you're under the water. That's probably a terrible death. I ain't gonna and lie. And just drowning. Like, imagine you just getting hit by stuff and you drowning at the same time. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't know. You think uh, tsunami is worse or like getting burnt in a fire? Like what, drowning? Yeah. Or is getting set on fire? Mm-hmm. I think, I think drowning is worse. Ooh, you're I, getting burnt to death. Yeah, because I heard like like you still feel that pain for for a minute. Like it takes you mad long to die <laughs> after drowning. No, after like being burned alive, like it takes you mad long. Yeah, like, exactly. You're, like, for, so that has to be worse. Oh, oh yeah, that's what I meant. I, I thought you meant like which which one I would I rather do. Oh, oh. no, nah, I'd rather get I'd rather drown. But I think being burned alive because like think about it, you gotta you just sitting there in the fire and like you gotta wait till your skin to burn and like you basically just die of pain. But drowning, you're like suffering. Like you're like. Uh, but like, imagine you dying of pain, like you, like you're just dying of of getting hurt, like just hurt, getting hurt so much that you just die. <laughs> just screaming. I know people will be like, "Oh no, nah, no, nah. like, fire is worse for sure." It has to be. Like they, that's what they, that's how they used to kill the witches back in the days. Burn them. Yeah, they used to just put them on a stake or like drown them. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm not gonna lie, like like Fritz said, bro, being being a girl during the Salem witch trials was probably a terrible time. <laughs> like. Just imagine. You could be just going about your day. Somebody be like, somebody that don't like you be like, oh, you a witch. You're and a they, witch. Every, everybody going to believe them. And just kill you. Like, you dead. Kill you in the worst play, but they don't even shoot you. They set you on fire. Like, I remember, I don't know if, you remember when we watched that movie of that girl? It was like, she uh, she had like a group of people, it was like four of them, and it was like immortal, and they couldn't die. Or I think I, I think I watched that movie by myself. Probably. Because, so like, so like she it was on Netflix so like she goes so she was immortal right and so she lived for like millions of years and like she helped mankind with a lot of things so like she was there during the pyramids of Giza she was there during world wars like she was like a big hero but she had a second person with her but like during the Salem witch trials they were accused of witchcraft and like because they were high key they kept killing them and they kept coming back to life Mm -hmm. because like they can't die but what they did was they separated one and they put one of them in a steel box, like in a steel co- coffin, and threw her in the ocean. So she's still alive. Just she's still alive, just continuously drowning. That's like I'm not gonna lie. That's like the worst possible punishment I ever heard. Like she's literally just continuously dying right Jeez. now as we speak. <laughs> and it's like it's like a gift. Be it's like a like the whole movie is just like these people are like been gifted by gods. So like. So, like, every now and then, there's, like, a new person that has this power. But she's been, she was, like, one of the first ones. So, like, now there was, like, three of them. So, there was, like, so there's, a, there's four of them and then a new one from the, some girl from the army got shot in the head. And then she's, like, came back to life. And she was, like, what the hell? And, like, everybody was, like, what the hell's wrong with you? Like, you just died. But, like, now she has that power now. So, like, they just go around the world just, like, helping people. That's cheese. But that one but girl. But that one girl's suffering. And, like, they couldn't find her. Like she 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 tried to find her and she can't find her because she's literally just down there suffering, just dying, come back to life. Just imagine you just like no, come on, that... come on, bro. That's continuous. <laughs> That's mad. Continuously drowning. That's a terrible life. That's a terrible, a terrible life. This is a terrible death. So just imagine just redoing it and redoing it. That's why I can't be immortal, but that's how they're going to kill. That's that's a good way to stop immortality. That is. You just <laughs> put them all under the water. <laughs> that's a good way. Like, free them, bro. Mm-mm. All right. Now let's get into the little nitty gritty start of the start of the show, man. I got a, I got a question I want to ask you, right? Mm-hmm. So in the next 50 years, what truth do you think will come out to the public? What would truth? It, yeah. So would it be about, would, it, would the truth be about aliens, how we die, the government or the earth in general? I don't think it will ever be about aliens. I feel like I feel like in soon. I don't know when. I hope I'm alive then. I'll be it'll be lit. <laughs> Somebody think. record this I I'm recording it. I just think they know how the world and the people that live on this earth are and they will not tell us about aliens, even if they know about it. Because mm. people will start freaking out like they do everything. I feel like it's it's, it's gonna slowly happen. Like this, so it's just gonna be like we're gonna capture the first alien in like ten years, and then we're gonna be—he's gonna be like communicating with us, and then he's gonna start living with us, and then the whole fleet gonna come. Either they're gonna attack us because we did something stupid, or they're just gonna come and just show themselves. 
but we're not worthy yet. <laughs> what else? It was the earth. How we how we die? How we die? Mm, no. Nah. You don't think so? Mm. I, I don't think, think so. they would tell us how we die. I don't think so either. I feel like it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to know. Um. The government. I feel like somebody would like somebody's working towards going into the government to get all the secrets. I would do that. I wouldn't. They're gonna. I, I want. I want it for myself and the people around me. I want to tell everybody because they're gonna kill my dumb ass. I want to tell everybody. Everybody's gonna know, and then I'm like, just be dead. Like you know, I heard. Like speaking of that, they, I heard. Um, like there was like a secret project, like the government did, and it was like, I I, I think they. I forgot. I think it's like Project like Looking Glass or something like that. Hourglass, something like that. And it was like the government, like was able to see the future, and like I guess they seen something that they didn't want to see. And they're trying to, like, prevent that from happening. So, like, I guess, like, all their secrets got out somehow. And, like, mm. they don't want none of the... Like, they're trying to prevent that future from happening. So, they're just changing everything up. What the fuck? I don't know. I'm telling you, somebody's working towards getting <coughs> into the government and spreading all their lies. I feel like... I feel like we... All right, we can't have one person. We need, like, a, a group of people, like, at least 100K. No, because think about it. If one person goes into the government and, like, says all their lies and, like, what's real about the government and what's not, they can't kill that person. Because then they can be like, oh, he was telling the truth. I mean, you you hear me. They probably think I went into the government. The shit I be saying. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't dead yet. <laughs> yeah, no. I, we, ain't, we ain't on the right path. I, I've been feeling a little sick lately. I ain't gonna lie. I've been hearing weird shit in my, in my crib. <laughs> but I don't know. I just think... Uh, like I remember when everybody was supposed to storm Area Fifty One. Mm-hmm. Like it was like five hundred thousand people, and like then COVID came out. There was well, what if like COVID they put COVID out just to stop all those people? To see the truth. Because <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that was. Do you think they would have got in there? I think so. There was hella people. Who's they, gonna stop them? The government, the aliens. The aliens. What if we got in there and it was like a whole bloodbath? Like there was just murder spree, and then they just raced our minds. Probably. <laughs> like it actually happened <laughs> Shit All right. What else was there The earth Yeah the earth Like what What's the truth about the earth Like how big it is What's, what's If it's li- flat or round What's flat or round How it started Cause they said We just came out From a big bang That's the best you got You tell me An explosion Caused the galaxy Nah bro. That's that's the one fishy thing I talk about That's what they taught us The big bang theory right Yeah That's gay as hell <laughs> Come on bro That's gay as hell who came no. up with that theory? Who made all that money for that dumbass shit? I feel like they'll keep telling us lies about the earth. So, I think, well, out of, in 50 years, I feel like we'll know about aliens. Either aliens or the government. No, no, not the government. government. Because I feel like if we learn about the government, everything's going to go downhill. I don't want to know yet. You're right. Like, everything, they're just going to be like, oh, you know everything now. Now nobody's protecting you. <laughs> They're gonna just leave us out to dry. So like you want to, it's like you want to learn all this stuff. Now look at your dumb ass. <laughs> but the Earth, see, the Earth is is a tricky one because I heard that you know Antarctica. Mm-hmm. There's a theory that says that Antarctica. You know Antarctica is like a big wall. There's like an ice wall. Yeah. They said Antarctica isn't just like it's not south and north. It's like all around us. And like it's just it's like a ice barrier that um that uh contains us from going out. That's why if you get close to that wall, there's like the government every like the like Antarctica is the only country and only continent that every damn near every country in the world signed a treaty not to go go to or explore or inhabit. People can't go to Antarctica? Mm mm. You can't even fly over Antarctica. You can't fly over it, you can't go to it. Unless you're approved by the government. Like, they signed a treaty that you can't touch it. But why, though? It gets me into a... Remember that um, movie we watched? What? Where they went into the bunker. It was, like, in a snowy Greenland? place. Yeah, Greenland. Yeah. Because no. they had their bunkers there. They might. They might have a big one in there. But let me tell you what I, I heard about. I talked about this. If y'all are OGs, man, I talked about this in probably, like, the third episode. So... The truth about Antarctica is so they during the nineteen I think it was nineteen forty six right it was it was called Operation High Jump, and it was where Richard Byrd led a fleet of like a naval fleet into Antarctica. The reason why is because it was just like a little undercover uh, mission because during the time it was the end of World War Two, 
and Germany occupied some parts of Antarctica at the time. So they were just trying to make sure no enemies were there. So it was just search and destroy type of shit. So what they found was it was just like they they was going through and like UFOs started appearing out the water and then they started attacking them. So they started being attacked by all the UFOs and stuff like that. Some boats disappeared. Some people died. But he said like there was like vast like land that we never touched. And there's like so much stuff. And he found like a group of beings that lived like he found hollow earth. Like there's an opening in Antarctica that's like there's like aliens that live inside of earth. Mm -hmm. And like he met with them. They, They call them themselves like the masters or something like that. And, like, he talked to them and stuff like that. And he said, like, everything that they have is way more advanced than us. Like, their technology is more advanced. Their weaponry is more advanced. Like, their minds in general is more advanced. He said before, he just, he said, like, because, like, that's when they dropped the bomb. Mm-hmm. And, like, the 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 masters, what they're called, like, the people that live in Hollow Earth were mad about it. Because they didn't, they just unlocked a power that they're not ready to unlock. And they're using it in a bad way. And they, he told them, like, he gave them a mess. He, they gave him a message to send to the people of Earth and his people in general to be like, this nuclear atomic bomb stuff, like, it's not good for the Earth and it's not going to be good in the long run and tell them to cut that stuff out. So he went back up and after the operation, and the government knew about all this stuff, like, they knew about all these, the hollow Earth and all these aliens living inside of Earth, but... Once he came back, he wrote everything in his journal, everything that happened to him. It's it's in a, I think they made it into a book, like his son made it into a book mm-hmm. in like the 80s. So they took his journal away and told him not to say nothing. But in 1957, he went on a talk show and he like in, in like really good detail talked about everything that happened on Operation High Jump. And then I think three months later, he died in his sleep. In his sleep? In his sleep, supposedly. But people should just know it's real after that then. Because, like, obviously, if he dies after, like, he's been saying some truth but like, if he don't got a health condition. But think about it. It's like the 1940s, 50s. Like, we didn't even know about the, like, we could go to the moon. People would just probably think he's crazy. That's like, crazy. Like, a whole a whole new civilization in the center of the earth with way more better advancements, more technology, better technology than we ever, like, imagined. That does sound like the movie we watched. Where they went into the earth. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You never know. Like, we That's can fishy. never, we'll never know until we experience it ourselves. Yeah, and I'll never believe it until <coughs> I see physical proof of it. That's what I'm saying. Say proof. <laughs> proof. <laughs> like he said, they had a whole battle. And it was just, like, the government knew about it, but he saw for himself. And he wrote it all down in his book. All of his little adventures, and he just talks about it. And he was, and it was... Because they, they knew if he if they start these wars with the atomic bombs and nuclear weapons, that the, their whole the whole earth is going to be, like, done. Mm-hmm. Like, just imagine. Like, that's why nobody dropped them drugs now? Is that why? That's an easy way to stop a war. That is. <laughs> Drop a bomb is over. Because some shoot. I don't know, man. No. I don't know. Something fishy going on. There's always something fishy going on, bro. <laughs> and people... We are here to debunk everything. I'm lying. Try. Try. I'm, I'm lying. We're this, trying to go in the right direction. I don't know. I just like this. This is all interesting to me. Shout out to y'all, man. But I got another would you rather question. Would you rather stay in, in a house full of demons for the rest of your life or, or, or always be stalked by a stalker for the rest of your life? So by stalker, I mean like he creeps around your house a lot. You see him in the window. Sometimes he'll come in your crib, take his things. Does he touch me? He might caress your hair while oh, you're sleeping. Nah, nah, nah. I'm saying, nah, I don't know. You might, you might hear a door open. Can I fight back? Fight back to what? Stalker. He gonna keep coming back. I can't fight the demons. That's what I'm saying you can't fight no demons. You can't fight the demons. I'll be mad as hell. They are gonna keep scaring me. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna live with a stalker. I think I'm gonna live with a stalker too. Hell no. I'm gonna just keep beating his ass, but like he just. He's just gonna keep like he gonna look through your window. Like you look out the window, you see a dude right there. You look away, he's gone. I get security, <laughs> just so he won't kill me. You could look at me while I sleep, but you can't touch me. He gonna come in your crib. He gonna take stuff like freaking Joe. Yeah, but he was a lover. He was a lover. That man is creepy. <laughs> he was as hell. a stalker lover. That man used to beat his meat in the in the bushes. Ew, no. Beating your I'm meat in public is crazy. That's weird. 
in the bushes is crazy. <laughs> How does it even get hard? Don't know. While you in public, looking in the bushes, like what? I don't get men. Don't get men. <laughs> don't get men. <laughs> but anyways, <coughs> I'd rather have a stalker. So you'd rather have somebody stalk you for the rest of your life than have demons for the rest of my life? Yeah. Mm. And he's just gonna keep coming in your crib, just walk in. He might be. He might be married to you. What? Oh, might be me. <laughs> <laughs> You're weird for that. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> but all right, I got another. All right. Hold on. What would you add the questions I have? Oh, would you rather have hiccups forever or always feel like you have to sneeze forever? Hiccups. Really? Easy hiccups. I hate feeling like I have to sneeze and not do it. That's my pet peeve. I think I'm going to take the sneeze. You're going to sneeze? Like feel like I have to sneeze forever? That's the worst feeling. That's worse than just... <laughs> I know, but like my hiccups be hurting. Like <laughs> you it, got some strong ass. It hurts. Like when I eat, it, like it hurts my chest. Like I don't like that. No. Like I can feel like my heart jump a little so bit. So you're just going to be like this or you're like... like. Yeah, I'm just be like... I feel like I'm going to get no. used to it. I, I'm I'll get getting, used to hiccups. Nah, I'm not getting used to them hiccups, man. That shit going to hurt. Is it like every 10 seconds? Like how long in between the hiccups? Like, like I'm not just like. <laughs> I'll say probably per day about 100 times. 100 hiccups? 100 times. <gasps> That's easy. That's easy. Nah. I'm cheap, bro. They're going to agree with me. Comment down below what you would do. I think I'll agree the with hiccups me. or the sneeze. Hiccups. Feel like, but like, if you feel like you have to sneeze, you just what feel like a little itchy. Your nose would be a little itchy. No, like you know that feeling when you're about to sneeze, and you don't sneeze. What the? <gasps> like when you don't know that feeling. Like you know when you stop me from sneezing and I get mad. Yeah. Oh, I because hate that I mean, like that's just you just have that feeling because you know that sneeze about to feel mad good. No, I have that feeling because I know I'm about to sneeze and then I don't do it. I don't know. I think I could. Maybe if I I do, if I pursue the sneeze after, I think I'll do um, about to sneeze. You think you'll do about to sneeze? If I sneeze afterwards, like I can't just and not do it. Nah, it's just you. You you don't do it. No, I get the hiccups. The hiccups be I be hiccup burping. Like I be like like, it hurts, bro. Like it hurts. Like I feel like the like the little thing in my like that little. Esophagus, it just jumps. Esophagus. Whatever that junk called. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That, that, that hurts, bro. You're gonna be like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'd rather I don't know. I'd rather do that. Mm mm. Oh man. Are you sure? I'm positive. I'm doing hiccups all day. Would you rather feel itchy or would you rather feel itchy for the rest of your life or having to sneeze? Having to not be able to sneeze. So would you rather be like feel itchy the rest of your life or not be able to like, or is like having that feeling that you can't sneeze, where you can't sneeze. But you're about to. But you're about to sneeze. Or feel itchy. That's hard. That's like. Like just imagine, that's like wearing uncomfortable clothing for the rest of your life. That's like mosquito bites. Exactly. I hope you pick that sneeze. I'm going to have to. I'm about to say. I hate mosquito bites. Itchy is crazy. Mm -hmm. Man. Well, oh. All right. Speaking of mosquitoes, right? So, if you can choose one animal to be your pet, but once you choose that animal, it will be the only animal left in the world. So, that means every other one of its kind will be extinct forever. Which animal would that be? Oh, so like I would only have that one animal. Yes. You will have the last (gasps) animal on earth in existence. I thought, I thought it was like if I pick that animal, then all those like there won't be no dogs. Like the other animal animals will be extinct. No, I thought that was the question. <sighs> so you will have that last. I can't even pick giraffe. Yeah, you will have the last giraffe for but the. That would be cool, but then when it dies, it's over. Nah. No, you will never see giraffes ever again. <sighs> That's so sad. Well, let me what tell would you, you do? I'm picking mosquitoes. I'm saving. I'm taking one for the team. You're smart. Take it, pick it. I'm having a pet mosquito. <laughs> when that boy die in a week, no more mosquitoes no more for the mosquitoes. rest of the world. For the rest of my life, but nobody. See, I got y'all, people. I, yeah, you I got smart. Them. That was a good one. That was, that was, yeah. I wasn't thinking that way. I was just thinking about animals I like. But then I was like, that would be the only animal. Exactly. Nah, get that junk out of there. 
That that mosquito going to die in a week. It's lit. Damn. That's lit. I can't be nice like you though. What the hell? I can't. I can't let everybody be mosquitoless. What's what's one animal that you fear? Like what's one animal that you like really scared of? I'm not scared of any animals. Mm, you gangster. Right. I like that. <laughs> Chill. Let me think for real. Mm. There's no animals that I fear for real. You don't got no animal you don't like. You don't look at an animal like that thing ugly as hell. That thing stink. Oh. That thing annoying. Animals. You can pick uh, snakes. Snakes don't bother me. You can pick t- uh, sharks. Pet shark. Last shark. Oh. Me all. You can pick a dolphin. No, that's the only dolphin. It's, it's gonna be extinct. It's over. Big uh, ostrich. An ostrich. Yeah. They're oh. cool. Oh, so they. And be- then I wouldn't care for them. Like I oh, don't so care. They, so it's a cool animal, but like you don't care that thing died. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Ostriches are cool. They're angry too. Angry ostriches. <laughs> <laughs> they be chasing. They fast as hell. I know. Imagine- they be chasing after people. I don't think I could die by an ostrich though. You definitely would. No, I can't. Ostrich is ten times faster than you. I don't think I'm gonna. I'm not running. I'm beating his ass. I could, even though they big. I they'll think kick, I could be. I think kick I could. You. I think I could kill an ostrich. You could kill one if you had a weapon. If nah, you had bare hand, I'm, I'm nah. beating his ass. Ain't no way. I'm hopping on his back. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna break his neck. Yeah. No. Like, like, there's no. He don't got no arms. You're right, but they got power. And what? The legs? Like, they'll run you over. Man, not, not, the, the only thing I'm be afraid of is like that little beak and they start pecking at me. Do they even do that? Yeah, like I think so. Don't they be stuffing their heads in the ground too? Like when they get scared? Or is that the only car is that only in the cartoons? Stuffing their heads in the ground? Yeah, they be like they hide. Never heard of that. You don't think you could beat an ostrich? No. Barehanded. Mm-mm. If you really angry. Like that ostrich just Kill China. I wasn't gonna say Juju because <laughs> I love Juju. Stop. Um, <laughs> I just thought of that. I just thought of like an like we go into the zoo and then China runs out into like runs out into the little the little uh, safari and then the ostrich steps on it. I could just imagine your mom just trying to beat the, the ostrich. <laughs> we ass. jumping them. Yeah, I know. Your mom really <laughs> just gonna be. A, I'm like, gonna grab the neck. <laughs> <laughs> like your mom's gonna be like, oh my god. And she just goes like. <laughs> she gonna punch it. <laughs> Wait, she really going... Why? This never fails. Every episode, somebody <laughs> called. Yo. What's good with y'all, y'all? <laughs> I ain't seen that. <laughs> you got you a preview your new music? Oh, nah. <laughs> what happened? I interrupted something? Now we're on the podcast. So it was good. Oh, oh dang. So I do got to show my new music. Let's <laughs> <laughs> hear it. Let's hear it. Alright, let me go on real fast. Now I was gonna ask you if you was trying to come to play some volleyball games tomorrow. Oh, I have a I have a dinner tomorrow for our sports. What time we got end? a banquet at six forty five. No, I said what time it ends. Probably like eight thirty. We gonna go and get low. That's the banger right there. Nah, that's that heat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, cousin. I'm gonna see you. All right, brother. You know what I'm saying. Another one. We have to volleyball tomorrow. You want to? I probably go. We can probably go after. <coughs> because I think, I think his friends like at work want to like play volleyball against us. They don't want this. They don't want no smoke. I ain't gonna lie. My arm is better. And you not in season. Oh it's, oh, it's over. Tell him we'll be there. We pulling up. We, we spiking in people's faces. <laughs> I don't know about that. Nah, you got to. You got to talk I'm shit. I'm a setter. Oh, you a setter? I got you. Do you really be setting for real? Because we need. that's all we needed. We suck at that. 
Chi Chi. I think I could set. Okay, because Chi Chi was the only one that actually tried to set to people, and like he was fucking ass. <laughs> nah, I think I could set. Like Chi Chi was decent. Like he like he would actually try to do the little thing. Our dumbasses would just keep hitting it I'm over. A, I'm gonna do the cheese thing where they be fake setting and they throw it over. Oh, Whoa, it's over. You dies, you dies. <laughs> Nah, hey, no regulars fans, pull up to Keene University, see a volleyball game tomorrow. No oh, regular, the members versus uh, don't even know who, but don't even matter. <laughs> you gonna post this next Sunday? I know, right? <laughs> They're gonna be like, "What this motherfucker talking about?" They gonna pull up on a Monday to Keene <laughs> University. <laughs> they gonna pull up on a Monday. God, what, what else do I gotta talk about? Do you got anything you wanna talk about? <laughs> 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 you know I never come prepared I know you do But it's like What's what's on your mind? Let me think I was before the um, podcast I was thinking about Would you ever get Your like palm red tarot readings? No Hell no <laughs> Why? I would never do that So then you wouldn't want to know Like how your future is? No I want to I want to be surprised Cause <laughs> I would say the same thing But like There's a part of me Like a Curiosity in me That wants to know no, I don't. I don't want to know at all because they scare me. Because you know that should be right. You never know though. Like, how can they tell my future for real? Tell, they got superpowers. I'm telling yo. I'm telling humans. If you really focus in, like, think about it. Usain Bolt has a superpower, low key, fast as hell. Them bodybuilder dudes, they lift so much weights. They got super strength. If you just train your mind in a certain way. But I think that's like they worked for it. Like some super. Superpowers like you could train in, your mind in movies, they just come with it. Like, think about it like the people, like the monks and stuff, they train their minds like in isolation, like for pain and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, like, they really don't feel pain for real. Like, in the, like when you go into the army and stuff, like they break you down to build you back up mentally, like not physically, mentally, they break you. There's like that guy that was, um. Working the that hot pan, just touching the hot yeah, food. like he was literally just picking up chicken with bare hands. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's low key, like, like I remember Leonard was telling me like back in the days, like if you read the Bible and stuff like that, it talks about people with superpowers and stuff like that, but it don't really say it like that. But it says they got special powers. So like we never know, like you know, like fluoride and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like the fluoride in our waters supposedly like cuts off like our connection to our third eye that we have. I, get, I, th I forgot what a third eye does. I think it's just like a an extra little bit of knowledge that we have. And like what the stuff that we eat, like the things that the government is giving us, like fast food, all that stuff, it just contains us from like our potential that we have because they know they they know that how strong we are. Because think about it. We can be we can eat so much. So so we, we can eat. We can eat so healthy, but all the foods that is healthy is so expensive. Mm hmm. So like all them things that help us help our bodies get like grow and get bigger, like lift weights, you be strong as hell. Like all the foods and and resources that have is all expensive. Like knowledge, like the best schools, so much money. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Because like we're all like humans in general is like a sponge. So like whatever we work at, like mentally, you could just it'll just there's no limit to what we could do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what gets that's what gets me thinking. Like, who's who's running our government system? I don't know. It could be those aliens, and they know how strong we are, and they try to control us. It's the bad aliens, like the reptilian dudes. They run us, and they they keep they keep us con concentrated like this, right? Because so you think the aliens run the government, and the government runs us? I don't think they run the government. I think they. I feel like there's a group above them that runs the government that the government listens to. Because there's no way. There's always somebody above somebody else. There's no... Because especially in this one big country, no way Biden is calling all the shots, bro. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, they have... They say it's the House of Representatives, the Senate. That don't mean nothing. Come on, bro. <laughs> no, for real, though. That's what I'm saying. Because it's like, you can really train... Like, we can really train ourselves and our minds to do whatever we could think of. Just like... Like, uh... Freaking like you're talking about the palm readings. They probably just either it could have been a gift when they was younger, or they just just learned it. Yeah, I really want to know how do they know? Like, do they? Is it? I don't know. Might I was gonna say is it luck, but it might be something spiritual. 
because I was, I was going to talk about this today, but since you brought it up, because there was a whole operation back in the 70s, from the 70s to 1970 something to like 1995. It was like a whole operation where they used people like that. It's called Operation Stargate. So they used people like that, like um, people that could do palm readings that are like uh, the, um, what's that called? The psych- not psychedelic, uh, people that are... What, what psychic? The, yeah, psychic people. I, I don't know how to. There's another word for it, but it's like they they use like they use like the best psychics and stuff like that to like hunt down or like hunt down um like ex convicts, like people who are wanted. Like they you they were able to like disconnect their body from themselves to like the universe to like it's called like um. Fuck. It's like something gazing. I can't remember. Mm-hmm. So it was like they was able to disconnect themselves and just like go to that place and just find it. it was find like, them. Fi- either find people, but it's just like like it's spying basically. It's like they was able to go throughout the like disconnect their mind from their body and go to the universe and just like because that's what they said the Russians were doing and like the Russians like put so much money into it and the Americans was like why are they putting <coughs> almost half a billion dollars in the nineteen sixties into. Uh, into psychic people that's like people who talk to the dead that's what I'm saying that's what I'm saying like you could like I feel like superpowers I'm be saying this all the time people superpowers is a thing but we just don't we're just not uh I was gonna say program we're not taught to was to um maximize our potential as human beings yeah there's a girl on my tiktok like she <coughs> She lets, I think she has people pay her before, but mm-hmm. then she brings them on her live or so, in something. Yeah. And she'll, um, she'll ask them about their dead relatives and be talking to their dead relatives somehow. Mm-hmm. And like, she'll be like, oh, did you have, like, did your mother pass away at this age, this age? And then I guess the dead people will be telling her what to say to them. And she'll be like, Oh, did you guys do this when you were younger? Did you have this when you were younger? That's scary. Cause that is. I would want to do that though. You would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't get a tarot reading, but I would want to have somebody talk to people from the dead for me. I think I would too. I wonder what my grandfather would say to me right now. <laughs> I, I really do. I really. I wonder what he's gonna say. He probably say, "Cut your damn hair." <laughs> That's what your dad always says. He always says, like he just they. He's like, boy, you lucky your grandfather passed away because if he would have seen you with this hair right now, boy, your hair would have been bald. You would've, it would have been gone. I don't know why. He, he, he hating on me, man. Grand, <laughs> Grandpa, why you hating on me, brother? <laughs> it's okay, man. Like, like your son, he be hating on me too. <laughs> I don't know why they be hating. He hating. Because I got the good hair. <laughs> he mad, bro. They just mad. I understand, bro. A lot of people on TikTok be asking me about my hair. You be doing a good job. They'd be like, I do it. Yeah, people. If y'all want to know, Jay does my hair all the time. What's the What's the next hairstyle we're gonna do? The pop smoke braids. Pop smoke like down the side. I think mm-hmm. that'll be fire. But like, I need to trim my hair though. I'll do it. Are well, you gonna trim my hair? I'm down. I'm, I'm gonna learn. I got. I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. Oh, you are. Yeah. By Russ. People, I'm sorry if I, I forgot to say it anymore. If I look crazy, I haven't had a haircut in like three weeks. <laughs> Shout after out your Russ. haircut, I'll do it. Well, all like right. after the dinner or whatever. Okay. Shout out Russ, man. The rest going on. Bless the kid up, man. Gonna get him right. You know what I'm saying? Cuts get by him. Russ. Cuts by Russ, you know what I'm saying? Curly Cuts. I don't, I, is it called Curly Cuts? I think he changed his name. I think it's Cuts by Russ. It used to be Curly Cuts. He probably could do any hair. That's why. Oh, no, he could. <laughs> That's it. He came up, bro. But <clears throat> what else do I want to talk about? All right. I think this is a good time to get into... I, sorry, people. I know it's been a couple weeks since I've done this. It's uh, Urban Legends... From each state So like I said before Like you guys know the drill Comment down below Y'all stay in the comments And we're gonna go put it on the wheel And we're gonna talk about Some urban legends From your states And stuff like that So this week We got Virginia The bunny man Yeah (laughs) You already seen it So So we got Virginia's The bunny man So supposedly In 1970 Right in Clifton, Virginia Uh it was a couple, right? So a couple was out in like the the parks and stuff like that, and you know they just chilling, and then suddenly like they see somebody in the in the rearview mirror, and like a hatchet gets thrown in the window, and there's like a guy yelling at them like get out of here, stop trespassing, and they th- they said it was like a they seen a guy in a white suit with like ears on his head, 
So they said he was like in a bunny suit, but like they researched and they and they went to the cops to tell him all this stuff. The cops couldn't find him, but they realized that a couple, I think, a couple years back, an insane asylum truck crashed and one person escaped, and supposedly that person escaped and like he lived in the woods, and like he would feed off of like the wildlife, so he would just kill a bunch of like rabbits and stuff like that, and like the. Like, the people would, like, talk about seeing, like, dead rabbits all over the place. Mm-hmm. And, like, supposedly he got, like, a, a bunny suit. And, like, he would go around town, like, interacting with kids. And at nighttime, he would go into the, their houses and kill their families and kidnap the kids. And then they say that um, he, he he got hit by a train and died. But, like, there's, like, a bridge. I think it's in, um, there was a bridge in, there was a bridge in Fairfax, Virginia, where they say that's where he he stays and stuff like that, and sometimes people do see pe- somebody in a in a bunny suit with a with the axe, and they say if you see if you see him, you're gonna see like a really bright bright light, and then you're gonna he's gonna kill you. That's crazy. I don't know. That scares me. I don't know if it's real. People could just pretend like because they know the urban legend and stuff. I know they could pretend to be in a bunny suit and just scare people. I don't know, man. Imitators. He- I mean that that's another thing that probably get, that was going around, but like a dude in the butt, like crazy people, like those insane asylum people are nuts. I'm not gonna lie. How do people get that crazy though? Because we're surrounded by so many good people. It's like who could be bad? There has to be somebody bad around us. That I could just, be a killer. I just feel like some people were born with this. Some people were in bad situations. Like I talked about on the show. Like my dad had one girl. In this job that went to an insane asylum, and I don't know what she's doing right now. That's crazy to me that people's mental could be that messed up to go into a house, kill the family just to kidnap somebody. A bu- he went to a bunch of houses in mm-hmm. a bunny suit. What did he kidnap the kids for? Mm-hmm. He just that's that's how crazy he is. He used that to kidnap to people. He used to kidnap people. He used to kill anybody trespassing in his boot. That was the whole trespassing in his woods. That was like the whole spiel about him. That. He would just kill people who trespassed in his woods? Don't, nobody goes by his woods. That's crazy. Hey, man, my Virginia people, free y'all, bro. <laughs> free you if you live by him. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. Well, oh, th- did I ever tell you tell you about the, the thing that they told us in middle school? What? All right, so this is a story. By the way, I gotta we got to go to my middle school. I got to dig up my time capsule. Oh, yeah, you've been talking about that. I have to dig it. I got to do it now. So... People, I went. I go to. I went to a middle school called Kiwami Middle School, and right next to our middle school is a swamp, right? So, like, there's paths. So it's a school. Then there's a golf course. G- golf course. Golf. <laughs> <coughs> there's there's the school, a golf course, and then the swamp right behind the school. So, my English teacher in seventh grade told us a story about the Kiwami kids. So this is the the story, right? So, back in like the the nineties, eighties, there was a kid, right? He used to get bullied by this one kid. Like, every time the bully would see him, he would beat him up. Everything like that. Get really nerdy kid. Mm-hmm. Get beat up all the time. Until one day, the kid was at his locker, you know. He's, like, kneeling on the floor. And the bully is, like, walking. And he trips him. And the kid, like, tripped the bully. And the bully was like, what the hell are you doing, man? And then the kid gets scared and runs away. Kid's running. The bully's chasing him throughout the school, running. And they run out the, the back door. He's running outside. They ran into the swamp. And then when the teacher's... Go back there and find them. They find the kid all beaten up and like badly like messed up, but like they couldn't find the bully, and like nobody to that day never found him. They say he drowned in the swamp or something took him in the swamp. The bully? Yeah. But the kid was messed up. The kid, they, it's like did he survive? Yeah, he was cool. The kid's cool, oh. but it's like the kid got beaten up and like something, either something or the bully ran into the swamp and just never seen him again. The kid pushed him. But like there was also time, there was also stories of there was a there was like a hobo in the swamp that used to like like there's this one kid he used to say like oh the hobo in the swamp freaking slashed my face and that's how I got this cut like but we used to be scared going in there I ain't go like because like it's a it's an actual swamp like it's like it's like trees and then there's like a, a little lake like a little mini pond little stream type of thing and like we used to play um manhunt in there like during uh. You know, parent teacher conference day, like mm-hmm. at the start of school. Like, we used to go with our parents, and then we'd be like, all right, you guys want to, like, we used to play tag in the, in like, uh, manhunt in the swamp. And when I tell you, that shit, like, I don't know, it was kind of creepy, bro. It's just another lie. But, My brother used to tell me that there was a 
He used to just say, the old lady was going to get me, and I used to be scared. Mm. I didn't know what the old lady was, but I used to be scared as hell. My, 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 gra- my aunt and my grandma at my Wawa's house used to say, like, there's a moo-moo upstairs. A what? The moo-moo. Oh. It's like a ghost yeah. upstairs in the attic. I used to never want to go up there. But but also, like, when I was in, in middle school, in eighth grade, somebody, a cop, killed himself on the field, like, while we was in school. Oh, yeah, you told me about that. Like, it was crazy. Like, I remember... Like, we couldn't go outside for gym, and, like, there was, like, hella cop cars on the field. That's sad. And, like, we would always, like, he killed himself on the on the bench. Mm-hmm. So, like, we would always, I would always, like, so say, like, it was me, if it was, like, me, Ish, and Jordan were, like, riding through, like, the, the field and stuff, I would always look over to see if I see something. <laughs> I always, I thought one time I did, but, like, I, I never, I never, we never walked over after that happened. Like, we used to run laps around in gym class. We used to cut the corner, because, like, the, the field was on the corner. Like, the yeah. song, we would just cut. Could we not go by that bench? Mm-mm, I wouldn't either. That's scary. It's That's crazy, sad. bro. Union is a. It's not a crazy one. It's, like, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. It, ain't, it ain't too bad. But hey, man. Like I said, people are more urban legends. Let us know down in the comments. List. Let me know your town, country, whatever, bro. We'll find it. We'll put it on a little list, and we're gonna get to it. You know what I'm saying? But what time is it? How much is it? I oh, got like an hour. <coughs> but. You got anything you want to talk about? No, not right now. Let me think. Do I got anything else I want to talk about? Anything else I want to speak about? Is there, is there any... Um, I'm trying to think about something relationship-wise. Because I know people like to hear that. Oh, about, our, about relationships? Not just our relationship, just in general. Um, Cut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. I feel like we got a great relationship. She's looking over there like, I don't even know why she's doing that. <laughs> but, hmm. You know, you know what I'm happy about? What? Like, this is going to be, like, our first summer since, like, post-COVID, where it's, like, or pre-COVID before, like, where it's, like, normal. I think our our first summer? I think the first year we came together was normal. No, no. I mean, like, since then. Oh, yeah, Ever yeah. since then, it's been I know. downhill. So, like, we could do whatever now. We could do normal things. Normal things without masks. It's great. It's going to be great summer. We, we great go, summer. Gym all day, you know what I'm saying? And vacation. Yep. I'm going to the Philippines, people. <laughs> so, shit, shit go left. Or something, there's something that happened to me. I'm not going to say it, too. <laughs> all right. Do I got anything else I want to talk about? Like, is this it? All right. I got one more question. Let me hear it. So, if you had fairy godparents for a day, oh, here you go. <laughs> what would you do in that day? I have three things, maybe two. But mm-hmm. you gotta remember, they there was rules. What? Like there was the rules, so like you couldn't do, like you couldn't like do something where you had to win a competition. I don't think you could like wish up a bunch of money. Okay, so no money. I'm gonna wish for teleportation. Okay. And I'm gonna have this for the rest of my life. Yeah, you can have it for the rest of your life. So teleportation. I was gonna say money. That was gonna be my second one. Yeah, I don't think you could like get like luxurious, luxurious things like money. I mean, you could probably you. I think you can. Like you probably get like a house and stuff like that. But yeah, like, I just be like, just be successful, not just money. Yeah, but I don't think. It, I think you just couldn't. There's like there's certain rules. I don't know what the the whole the rules was. Like, tell me about your day. Like, tell me like you wake up six a.m. Cosmo Wanda. He's like, what you want to do today? What's the first thing you gonna tell him? Get me some breakfast. Okay. What are you going to wish for? I'm going to wish for some... A bacon and cheese on a croissant. Okay. With pepper jack cheese. Okay. And then after, I'm going to be teleported somewhere nice, like Turks and Caicos. Ooh, that's good. Just a I heard there's a I heard there's a beach in the Caribbean... There's an island in the Caribbean that has pink sand. Ooh, maybe there. I don't know where that is, but there. I forgot what it's called. I think it might be Turks and Caicos. Turks and Caicos. We're going to go with that. Okay. And then just spend the morning there tanning. Mm-hmm. Get some lunch. Teleport back home. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know the rest. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. Yeah. So I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell them the freaking, I'm going to wish for every food that I love and I'm going to eat it. <laughs> and then afterwards, I'm going to wish for like, yo, can I get abs? Like, like after eating all that food, I'm gonna be fat. So I'm gonna be like, I get abs and skinny, and then I'm gonna go into all of my favorite like 
like I'm gonna go into some of like my favorite like movies and stuff like that. I'm gonna like act out in those movies. Like I remember Timmy mm-hmm. Turner used to jump into hella stuff. I might go back in time. I might go into like freaking like the Avengers movies, the DC movies where I'd be a superhero for like a couple hours. You know what I'm saying? I only got 24 <laughs> hours. So then I'm gonna jump out of there. I'm a I'm gonna take you on a date. You know what I'm saying? We're going to like why? Of course. No, just kidding. We're gonna go to like we'll teleport somewhere. We're gonna take a date on the moon. Ooh. No, hell no. Yeah. We're gonna take, we're gonna do a date in Hollow Earth where they got all the <laughs> advanced society. Do all that stuff. I try. I probably, you know, I probably do all that weird. Do all that. I was gonna say weird stuff. I was gonna do all that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I was gonna, I was do all that stuff, and then um, I was gonna say ask for six inches in height. Oh my god! But nah, I don't think I'm cooling. I, I probably I probably help world hunger, you know what I'm saying? Help the help the poor people. I'd be feeling be nice. bad. Uh, you know, no. I help. I, I'll give some poor people some, some like not money. I'll, I'll give them like I'll, I'll open up like a a homeless shelter. Or just wish for a house. Yeah, I wish for... them for a house, but like I don't know what they're gonna do in that house. They might make it a crack house. <sighs> you never know. Some 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 crackheads don't deserve. <laughs> wish for a a good homeless shelter. Okay, I'll like... give them. Luxurious homeless shelter. I'll do that. I'll do that. Um, I'll probably wish for the merchandise to come out. <laughs> <laughs> I wish for, oh, you know, I'm gonna wish for, oh, I know what I'm gonna wish for. I'm gonna wish for a device that whatever I have in my head will get printed out or made for me. That's smart. That's how I be feeling about like clothes. Yes. Like I just be wanting to have exactly what I think. And just put it on my body. Exactly. Like, for these designs, like, I want, like, I could draw it, people. Like, I could draw these designs, but I just want, like, like, I already got the design in my head, but I want what that design in my head to be put on a paper. Like, I need that. I need, so I will want that. I'll wish for that device is lit. So then, um, I'll probably wish for a monkey, a little spider monkey. Just imagine a monkey running around here. It's lit. That's so cute. <sighs> Those little monkeys that they have on TikTok. I know. Remember that one monkey that died? George. Rest in peace, George, Stop. man. Stop. I was crying. That was so sad. Oh, poor kid. He, he was just, it was just a checkup. <sighs> oh. But, um, yeah, probably, that's probably what I'll do. Probably, right. probably, probably bring the, bring some of them, bring some of the members with me on those little trips to the, the DC world. I know oh, UJ yeah. want to go. UJ want to go see Batman for real. He going to think he Batman. No, no. Now he's going to see Batman and be like, I'm the real Batman. <laughs> oh, and then, God. And then he's going to want to fight him and then he's going to get his ass whooped. <laughs> but. All right. I think my final answer, I'm just going to travel the world. Oh, Everywhere just, I want to go, I'm just going to wish I'm there. Would you want to go to Paris? Yeah. I wouldn't. I heard Paris is disgusting. I mean, not just to walk around, just to see the views. I feel like they they have nice views. I don't know. I heard Paris, like I heard Paris, like I heard the people were really mean. They stink. They stink. <laughs> I heard that it stinks in general. I heard I heard it's bad. Like they be robbing people, like pickpocketing people, like OD. I think they do that everywhere though. I know, but like I heard it's like really bad. Like I remember I was watching somebody and they were saying like like they went to Paris. Like they don't recommend it. Recommend people going to Paris. Like it's overrated. You know, I just want to try. I'm going to Italy. I like to try their fast foods because it's different. <laughs> you want to go to a country to eat some McDonald's? Yes. Not even just McDonald's, but like whatever we have that they have, I want to see the difference. Like India. I'm not going to India. She Don't say pe- nothing. Don't say nothing. You get canceled. What? Don't say nothing about that's my, India. That's my opinion. I just don't want to go to India. There's so Why? Many pe- there's so many people in India. It's too overpopulated. Why else? <laughs> I don't like Indian food. Sorry. He never tried Indian food. You never tried Indian food. I want to try Indian food. I tried Indian you, food in middle school, actually. That's a samosa. A samosa don't count. Yes, it does. That's basically because it was from an Indian person. That's racist. No, that's not. <laughs> a samosa. She, is, her mother cooked it and she brought it to school. And a I samosa tried it. is just like an Indian like empanada, just like it's from India. Just like how an egg roll is like an Indian empanada. It's the same thing. It's nothing. The egg roll is an Indian empanada. You you really want to try Indian food? My mom loves Indian food. Yes, I do. My mom tried Indian food in the mall the other day. Oh, in the mall. Oh. Yeah, she said it was good. Uh uh-uh. uh. Brand- you know who loves Indian food? Brandon loves Indian food. My cousin. I'm gonna go with him to get some Indian food. Next time they order Indian food, I'm gonna let them know. I'm gonna tell yeah, them. Yeah, but not. I need to. I need to be like eye appealing to me. You want the chicken curry? 
That's like chicken. They got little, the little yellow rice, the naan. It's like mm-hmm. orange. I'm like, nah. You got that. You got that. But do you have anything else you want to talk about before we end the show, end the podcast? You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. Damn. I'm good. You want to do the outro? Follow and like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was good. That was okay. That was a good attempt. <laughs> But thank y'all again for tuning in to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode number 35. If, you, if you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. We're almost at 1.5 thousand subscribers on YouTube. If you're new, comment down below. If you like the video, like the video. If you want to share it to a friend, share it to a friend, all that good stuff. And follow us on all the podcasting platforms. All the links are going to be down below. Follow all our social media platforms, everything, all that good stuff. Discord probably coming this week. I'm going to try to make it this week. I'm going to look it up on YouTube. But merch coming soon. Merch coming soon. I'm trying to do it by the end of May. I need to get all my finals done, people. I'm sorry. It's kicking my ass. And the, the characters aren't done yet. Like, I know. We're, he's working on it. My boy Jacob, bro. We almost done. Can you, like, if you, I don't think he's going to watch this, but hey, hit him up. Hit him up. Hit him up, bro. Jacob's art. He's from, he from the UK, man. Shout out to him. But yeah, we almost done with that. New logo coming soon. Merch coming soon. Uh,. Yeah, Discord. Discord will probably be up this week. We're going to have probably have the guys like run the Discord so y'all could go argue with them about any topics. If you guys want to give us topics, we'll put them in the Discord. And if it's good, we're going to talk about it. If not, bring better ones. Chill. <laughs> <coughs> and yeah, if you want to come play games with us because, man, we're going up like the speed of light. You know what I'm saying? Going up. I always say I don't want to be a... I don't want to be like a... Like when I... I when I, If I blow up, I don't want to blow up like a bomb. I want to be like a... What's that called? A forest fire. Slowly. Slowly burning. But surely. Slowly burning. Because that flame just continues to burn. That should never stop. We never stop, but we continue to go up. You know what I'm saying? Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Am I missing anything else? Discord, no. merchandise, logo, socials. I feel like I'm missing something. We different, different. Yeah. Like the main gangsta. Yeah. But we different... Oh wait, we different than regular, no regular man, gangster.